Hello. Hello. My name is Tyler. Yeah. And I'm Ilya. And together we make up Kavray, a couple that loves to play board games. And sleep. Well, maybe you like to sleep. Sleepy. Anyways, welcome to our Check It Out series, a series where we introduce various board games to you and hope to inspire you to play them and check them out. If you like our videos, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, join our journey, and we'd love to have you on board. Exactly. What do we have this week? We have Sheepy Time! Da -na -na -na. Check it out, it's making me sleepy, check it out. That's why I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Sheepy Time is published by AEG, it's designed by Neil Kimball, and the art is done by Zoe Plain. In this game, you'll take on the role of a sheep, trying to jump the fence in order to let your person get a good night's rest. But you have to be careful, because a nightmare is out to get your sheep, and if it catches up to you or crosses the fence before you do, then your person will wake up and it's game over. I hate waking up. Well, not completely game over, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it and take a quick look at how to play this game. You'll begin by setting up. You'll place the game board at the center of the table with this cute little fence between the one and the 10. Then each player will get their pieces, which is a sheep, a wink token, a pillow, and their now they'll place their wink token and their pillow onto the scoring track with the wink going at zero and pillow going on 40. Then you'll decide what nightmare you want to use. So there's three to choose from. You then use the cards from the nightmare deck and your sheepy time cards corresponding to the player count and mix them together to make a deck. You'll then shuffle the 30 dream tiles and place one randomly at space five and space 10 and place four to the side for the resting phase, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, whoever went to bed the earliest gets to be the star player. That's me all the time. Oh. Now the goal for Sheepy Time is for your wink token to cross over the pillow token. Sheepy Time is played in two phases, the racing phase and the resting phase. Now in the racing phase, players will play cards and move their sheep, hoping to cross the fence multiple times. Each racing phase has four turns. Play a card, use dream tiles, resolve fence crossing and draw cards. Now you'll begin with two cards and you'll play cards to either move across the board or gain Z's. Now Z's are used for dream tiles. You'll, if you gain a Z, you can place a Z onto a dream tile currently on the board. And if you land on that tile, then you can use the action on that tile to do something great and often create fun combinations. Now, anytime you cross the fence, you'll get five winks and the decision to either call it a night and stop playing or to continue. And then at the end of your turn, you'll draw cards. Now, if you draw a nightmare card, that's when the fun happens and the nightmare engages in the gameplay. So let's talk about nightmares. Nightmares can either move or jump. Now, if they move onto a space that you are in, or if you move in a space that they're in, you become scared and turn your sheep to its side, or as I like, upside down. Now, if the nightmare jumps, then it doesn't matter if you're in between where it was and where it ends up. It just jumps from place to place. So you're safe in the spaces between. And different nightmares act a little bit differently. Now, if you're scared and the nightmare interacts with you again and lands on the same space, or you land in the space of the nightmare, you wake up and you lose all the winks you would have gained that round. The end of the racing phase happens when you've either all called it a night or you've woken up from the nightmare. At this point, you'll see who won that racing phase. So if you call it a night, you can pair to where your winks ended up and the player furthest will get more points, which means your pillows will move back further. However, if you got woken up, then you only get to move your pillow back three spaces. Now, the person whose pillow is the farthest becomes the first player for the next round. And that first player will get to make the first decision in the resting phase. Now in the resting phase, you have one of two choices. You can add a new dream tile to the board or catch two Zs and place them on any of the tiles currently on the board. Now you'll notice on the dream tiles, 
you'll have a little space for either a three Zs or a Z with an infinity symbol. If you choose a one with an infinity symbol, your Z will just stay there and you can use that tower anytime you land on it. But other players may still put their Zs on there as well and use it periodically too. And then you can begin the next round. You'll keep playing until one player finally has their wink token cross their pillow and can finally call it a restful night. Will you be the player who gets the best sleep? Yes. So, what do you think? I really enjoy this game. I actually got to demo it a uh, fairly long time ago, and I re you didn't actually get to demo it with me. Nope. And I remember saying, Tyler, you need to check out this game, and I couldn't stop talking about it, and I couldn't stop hyping it up. And it honestly lived up to the hype. I think what I really enjoy about this game is the really fun combinations they can create using those dream tiles. And the fact that it's a little bit chaotic and anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can be in last place, way behind everybody else, but your stars may align and everything could work out and you could win. And that's, games like that always provide so much excitement. And I'm never even mad that the person won or I won <laughs> in those <I> circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I like it. It's a really good push your luck game. Um, I like the different nightmares mm -hmm. and obviously like kind of what you said is those combinations that you can create is so much fun because yeah there were points where I would like move back one um, and then move all the way to the uh, end and then just be able to keep going that way. So it's very very cool to see that happen um, and there's so many different tiles so the combos are for you to decide. It's very true. So why should you check it out? Well, if you like push your luck games, Sheepy Time is definitely one of those. It's uh, got a lot of elements of just going for it. You really just gotta go for it. Mm -hmm. The nice thing though is if you're like the last person um, to tuck in, then you've got like ways, or hmm, there are like ways that mitigate you from continuing to go because you have to You're reveal extra cards, cards. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still fun when you do manage to get those going not for the people watching no <laughs> just kidding it's still really interesting from that perspective too i think the variability in this game with the different nightmares the 30 dream tiles each game feels really different yeah. and i think the heart of it is building those combinations the dream tiles so the fact that you get to see different ones and see how they can interact and build different strategies around them. If you're a type of person who loves a bit of that chaotic randomness and just to like live in a world where anything can happen, this may be the game for you. Mm -hmm. Also the art in this game is always playing at such a phenomenal cute. job. It's so inviting. It's very cute. The sh little sheep tokens are just yeah. magical. Yeah. You just love it. Yeah, exactly. And of course, because it's a push your luck game, it's really anybody's game to win. So mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about creating a crazy strategy or anything mm -hmm. along those lines. True. So why shouldn't you check it out? Well, if you're looking for a game to play before bedtime, <laughs> this game may not be it. Mm -hmm. Because it definitely gets your blood pressure going, you're at the edge of your seat, you're wired a little bit. It's definitely a very energizing game. So. A little bit misleading old title. <laughs> no, it is really fun though. Very thematic. But I think in all seriousness, um, if you don't enjoy those push your luck elements where you've done everything you possibly could and you've got yourself way ahead, and then all of a sudden someone, everyone calls the night, you're ahead, you have the victory in the bag, and then this guy over here continues to <laughs> push his luck and manages to lap you four or five times and win in the very last moment by a hair, if that bothers you, maybe this definitely could happen in that game. So maybe it's not the game for you. You definitely know that from experience. Yeah. And I guess just another point to add to that is mm -hmm. if there is like one person just going, um, sometimes it can feel like you're not doing much as another player just watching. Uh, so there's not, and because there's not a whole lot of player interaction mm -hmm. outside of the dream tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, there's no element of take that. Yeah, I guess it's deciding when to call it a night. Mm -hmm. So if you do call it a night early, you could be just sitting there yeah. uh, safe. So if you're not much of a risk taker, <laughs> maybe True. also not the game for you. Yeah, yeah. But overall, love it. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Uh, I really definitely like it. a push your luck game that I look forward to playing more. 
and the business. It, it definitely leaves an impression. Mm -hmm. um, the little tokens, the little sheet, the way the game is presented. It has a table presence. The cards are friendly. Like, it just gives you a really good experience throughout the game, regardless if you win or lose. Mm -hmm. um, lots of laughs to be had. The, the nightmares are frustrating sometimes. Yes. Yeah. But it's definitely a game you'll be talking about at your game nights. Yeah. Yeah, it's the type of game that anybody can really play. I think it's super, super inviting, super easy to teach. And if you're like me and you like combo building off of what's given to you, then this is fun. This is fun. So for our question of the day is, if your nightmare could have a physical form, what would it be? <laughs> I think mine would be like a, a chair, like with a mouth at the bottom so it could like bite at you and then it would like strap you in. Like your uh, ankles? Yes. Well, it would bite at your ankles and like strap you in like on your arms. And I think that would be really creepy because it could have like eyes up here too. And I don't like that. Yeah. No. Obviously. I have to go towards something that's not real because if it's real, then I'll be even more scared of it. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to always have nightmares with uh, wolves, lions, and tigers all the time. And I'd be like in a little bush, like a little four-year-old Ilya in a little bush, and the lion would like walk by and I'd be like, don't notice me. And then every now and then I'd go, ah! And I wake up and I, and I threw a tantrum. <laughs> Jump scares are the worst. <laughs> so let us know in the comments below of what your nightmare looks like. Or if you want to focus on the positive, tell us your physical uh, form of a great dream. Maybe it's a little oasis. Otters. Little <laughs> animals. Well, thank you so much for watching. What should people do? Well, if you liked what you saw, give us that thumbs up and subscribe to us. We make videos every week and now we're back on the train trying to get some cool content out for everybody to watch. Yeah, we have lots of fun stuff coming up and we're super, super stoked to share it with you. Exactly. And eventually we'll do a new house tour, maybe. Maybe we're such a mess right now. It'll be a while. Once it's not <laughs> a mess. Yeah. We'll get organized one day. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a sheepy time. Woo woo! But until next time, this is us checking out. Bye. Bye.